a UFC flyweight division matchup. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. But, oh, now going to the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase the mission. Oh, nice job working hard, posting oh, it to that back row, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got into the clinch, started manipulating the body, and the moment his opponent took a misstep, boom, tripped it right over the top. Great job. Well, anytime you are in a ground, he's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to chase his finish. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh, man, that was slick. So inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Final seconds here of round one. Gets the elbow up into the target. So there's the end. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go fight. Yeah. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, blood pouring out of that eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. He lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, 
Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. His misses are out of time. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrap. Oh, man, look at that one shot. That showed the power. And the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is just straight leg. He's got to kick and push because how is and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's fun. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Wait. remain in the fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, what nice kick. Directly into the pitch. Nice kick. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Let's go. Get him off. Get him off. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And the left kick there with conviction. Look at the whip action that comes from this throw and that kick. Control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Able to check the high kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pick. Now, come. Take it down, cut it. over and over. He secured this takedown. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, and he's back up again. 
trying to hammer that lead leg. Good punch, Lance. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. So come on, do something different. Press punch. Do one of the special moves. I mean, Jesus, takedown after takedown. What else can you say but what a fight? like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, this shot. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here. Yeah.